clots in coronary stents more likely in early morning. Here's another situation where the timing of your medication, we call this sort of chronobiology. You're going to be hearing a lot more about it, the timing of when you take your medication. Well, many people have, millions of people have stents put in their coronary blood vessels to keep the blood vessels open in atherosclerosis and hardening of the arteries. When those heart arteries, the coronary arteries start to close down, they can save your life by going in through a vein. They don't have to open your chest and putting these little metal stents, some of them are medicated and some are not, inside your arteries and it opens them up. And then you're going to be put on a medication like Plavix, an anti-clotting medication. Well, here's what this article says. It says, prior research has shown that stroke peaks, stroke risk peaks early in the morning because your blood pressure is highest early in the morning. It says, now a new study finds that blood clots with in the stents you might have in your heart, a potential trigger for stroke as well as a heart attack, also follow a circadian pattern and peak early in the morning. Here we go again, you know, having issues very early in the morning. It says, knowing that, and this comes to us from the Mayo Clinic, by the way, knowing that, they say that, knowing that thrombosis, this what they call stent thrombosis, may occur early in the morning, might suggest that medication wears out by early in the morning, and we, you might need to have take your medication twice a day. It says, while we can't change your circadian rhythm, maybe we can divide the doses of antiplatelet therapy, like Plavix, and into a morning dose and a nighttime dose. Now, I know many people that are taking Plavix that have had stents, and their doctor doesn't tell them when to take the medication, and they're taking medication middle of the day at lunchtime. Well, that's not going to do you that much good during lunchtime. And it says generally antiplatelet or clot busting medication to prevent stent thrombosis should be given at night before the person goes to bed. So here we go again with aspirin, with your blood pressure medication, with the stent uh, preventing clotting with the utilizing these nutrients like Plavix and medication should be taken at bedtime because the greatest risk for heart attack, for elevated blood pressure, for stroke is very, very early in the morning. I'm talking like five in the morning before most people get up. So, you know, so if you are on Plavix or Coumadin, whatever medication you're on, please don't, don't base your health on what I'm telling you on the radio. Talk to your doctor about about your care and find out, you know, when you uh, should be taking your medication. If your doctor tells you it doesn't matter, well, then you f I think you should find another doctor because it does matter. This report, again, comes to you from Mayo Clinic, from NYU Medical Center. And again, what they're saying is that the timing of your clot-busting medication, like Plavix, like Coumadin, like aspirin, even your blood pressure medication, should be taken at specific times, generally speaking, before you go to bed and maybe another dosage in the morning, but it depends on your individual situation. So please uh, check with your physician about that. And if your doctor tells you, hey, it doesn't matter, it does matter. Find out the answer for you.